Yo, shalom, my people. We're going to get into the mark of the beast. It's going to be called a mark of the beast or the mark of the most high. It's always been a lot of speculation about this topic, you know what I mean? Uh, where the mark of the beast come from, how will it be implemented, and just how will it, how will it come about. Well, I wholeheartedly believe we end the days of this, like right around the corner. So we know that the Most High wants to be worshipped, and Satan wants to be like the Most High. So Satan wants your worship. He wants to be worshipped as the Most High. So we'll see if worship got something to do with this or is it just a chip? Which again, by no means do anybody better get that chip in their hands or in their foreheads. I repeat, by no means, no man, woman, or child better get this chip in their hand or in their forehead even though we're going a different route with this but by no means again I now repeat this I don't want nobody trying to put no words in my mouth saying I said something else you better not take a chip in your hand or in your forehead but we're going a different route with this we're going to find out that the Most High has his own mark. So you got to find out what the Most High's mark is to understand Satan's mark. You got that? The Most High has his own mark. You have to find out what the Most High's mark is to really, really understand what Satan's mark is probably going to be. But again, by no means. Take a chip in your hand or in your forehead. You have to be absolutely nuts to even consider it. Absolutely nuts to even think about it. So let's go to these scripts though. We're going to go to um, Isaiah 14 and 12. We're going to start there. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did its weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. So what it means let me know. I want to be like the most high. I'm going to put my throne in the midst of heaven just like the most high. I also will sit in the sides of the north, which is in Jerusalem. This is what Satan is promising. That he'll be like the most high. Verse 14 says, And I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, and I will be like the Most High. So if you like the Most High, you require worship. But the Most High, with Him, you can't mix it up. You got to do it the way that He tells you. That's why Christ says, Those that do this, you got to basically worship the Most High. In spirit and in truth. So you can't do it any kind of way. The way that you want to do it. He don't buy that. But Satan will trick you into doing it. His whole thing is to trick you into worshiping him. Let's go to this. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 6. We're going to show you exactly 
Where did this come about? Where it came from? Deuteronomy 6. We're going to start these commandments. Now these are the commandments, the statutes and the judgment which the Lord your power commanded to teach you that you might do them in the land whither you go to possess it, that thou mightest fear the Lord thy power to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee, thou and thy sons and thy sons' sons in all the days of thy life, and that thy days, that thy days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that you may increase mightily, as the Lord, thy power of the Lord of thy fathers have promised thee, in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our powers is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto the children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by thy way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. Now, you got to pay attention very, very close to this verse, verse 8. It says, And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. Now, we're going to go into the Strong's and get signs out of the Strong's. The word signs comes from, he from the Hebrew word, the number H226, which reads probably from H225 in the sense of appearing, a signal literal or figuratively, as a flag, beacon, monument, omen, prodigy, evident, mark. So his commandments is a mark between him and the children of Israel.